Welcome to You're Cordially Invited, the show that brings you candid and informal interviews with some of the best wedding professionals in the Washington, D.C. metro area. We hope that you enjoy the show, and at the end, we hope that we have inspired you to take these individuals along on your next social affair. Welcome to You're Cordially Invited, and welcome back to our segment with the Airly Center. This is part two here at the Lavish Estates of the Airly Center, and we are going to talk with the ladies that are the face of the Airly Center, the ladies that make it happen when it's time for you to plan your special affair here. So today we have here in the audience, Ms. Lisa Albert, mm -hmm. who is the sales manager here at the Airly Center, and then Ms. Brittany Carey, who is also a sales manager here at the Airly Center. Welcome, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you for Thank having you. us. Great, great, great. So there's so much to talk about here at the Airly mm -hmm. Center, and you're go you guys are going to fill us in as far mm -hmm. as what's great about the Airly Center, walk us through the grounds, and mm -hmm. why brides and other people or individuals should plan events here, correct? Okay. Yes. Oh. Um, first off, um, it's absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. Airly is 1,200 acres, okay. and it's nice when I talk to my site tours on the phone, um, mm -hmm. I tell them to drive down the stone line walls and then take a left at the waterfall. Mm -hmm. We have a gorgeous waterfall. You drive up and you feel like you're almost back in time at a southern plantation. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, there's lots of beautiful places to have photo, uh, photo shots. Um, we're also a one-stop shop. It's nice. Um, we can have weddings here at our, our new pavilion. Mm -hmm. We have a manor house where we host breakfasts, brunches. Um, we, we have rehearsal dinners on property, and we can, we can do a lot of different things. Okay. Um, so it's, it's really, right. really special. All right. Many reasons to come here. And how many acres did you say that was here? Uh, 1,200 acres. 1,200 acres. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the Early Center does have a lot of history behind it. It's just not you know, just a building that appeared one day. Kind of tell us about a sure. little bit about the history. Absolutely. Um, Airly Center, uh, the main house, was built in 1899 by um, Henry, uh, Harry Groom, mm -hmm. and it's named after a Scottish castle, which I think is always fun to tell because people ask about the name, and it's had the same name ever since okay. 1899. Um, in the early uh, 50s, a Dr. Murdoch had purchased the property and he turned it into a conference center about um, 1951. Um, it, it has had a lot of rich history. First of all, Dr. Martin Luther King stayed here before okay. he marched on DC in the 60s. Mm -hmm. And we're also very proud that uh, Gaylord Nelson uh, developed the idea of Earth Week here at Airly. So that's something that we're very proud of. We're a very green property and we celebrate every April. Okay, all right. So the property's gone through two different people or? That, that, we, that, that I know, know of. Like okay. those are the main points of history. We've had a lot of other things happen uh, throughout the decades, but okay. those are kind of some highlights. Okay. And the manor house, is that the main house here? That this we're is in? the main house where okay. we're sitting. This is the Airly house um, that was originally built in 1899. It did burn down in the early 1900s and was rebuilt. So um, this is where your guests will first come in to check in. Um, we have um, gorgeous rooms throughout the property. We have 150 rooms um, in various buildings throughout the property, but this is where they check in. And with our overnight rooms, we include a full hot Southern breakfast and we serve breakfast here. Um, the one thing that stands out, I think, about the Early House, it is sur uh, surrounded by boxwood gardens that are um, that are original to the 1899 period when wow. the house was originally built. So that's where we do our ceremonies. We have actually a sunken rose garden that's now cleared out, and mm -hmm. it's an opal, and that's where we do um, our ceremonies, and then we host um, cocktail hour in the garden as well. Okay, all right. And just to talk a little bit about the locality of the Early Center, right here in Fauquier County, mm -hmm. um, kind of highlight some of the things that go on around the Early Center. We, 
we love Fauquier County. It's mm -hmm. absolutely beautiful. It is horse country. There are um, at least 20 vineyards. It seems like there's one popping up every oh, wow. time I turn around in Fauquier County. So you can um, Lots also of opportunity for libations. Well, uh, exactly, <laughs> well, exactly. It's nice. Um, you know, there's just a couple within a stone's throw. So um, it's also nice to come out here and, and explore some of the, the vineyards uh, that are nearby. And we are only about an hour from DC. So you feel like you're at a destination wedding, but really you're only about an hour from DC. And we're right uh, five minutes from Warrington, which has a lot of other rest very nice restaurants. Okay. Uh, you talked about the pavilion a little mm -hmm. bit. That is where you host a lot of um, events there, mm -hmm. a lot of wedding receptions. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us what's so unique about the, the pavilion. Sure. Uh, the pavilion used to be, I, I call it a glorified gazebo. So uh, many years ago, um, we it wasn't climate controlled, but um, about two years ago, they uh, redesigned the pavilion and the, the LEED certification is all about the architectural design and the planning of the building. Um, it's designed with uh, the best green and sustainable materials and then during the construction process we were very careful not to disturb um, the local grounds. It's um, surrounded by a stone wall and uh, it's beautiful because it's a glass enclosed octagon. Mm -hmm. All the doors open up. So if you have a really nice day, you can open it, open it up, turn on uh, the fan. It's surrounded by a huge veranda. And um, if it's a hot day, like it is today, mm -hmm. you can close all the doors and windows and it is geothermally heated and air conditioned. So we're very proud of it. And that's that big ceiling fan that looks like have a helicopter very in there. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> and you say that the, uh, is this the only building that is LEED Gold certified? That is the only building that okay. is Gold LEED certified. Airly is Green Seal certified, which means we, um, we operate on a day-to-day -day basis with uh, green procedures and standards. We are all religious about our recycling mm -hmm. and when we purchase products, even office products, we, you know, we keep in mind where they're coming from. We like green, green okay. products. All right. And besides the pavilion, mm -hmm. now take us to the smokehouse. Tell okay. us about that. That's mm -hmm. another location where brides can have wedding receptions. Absolutely. Um, the smokehouse, um, and the nice thing, the fun thing, the easy thing about Airly mm -hmm. is a lot of the buildings are named after what they used to be. So we have the old post office room where we use for changing rooms for the bride. Okay. We have the smokehouse, which used to be, you know, where they smoke meat. Okay. And it still, it has a grand fireplace. When you walk in, you can still kind of smell the little smokiness of it, which is, a, it's a good smell, not a okay. bad smell. Um, so the, behind the smokehouse, we've always had a beautiful pea gravel patio that would hold about 100 guests with um, apple trees in um, blind boxes overlooking a lake. Um, we recently purchased a very nice tent, very mm -hmm. high ceiling white tent, so we can hold uh, weddings for about up to 80 guests out there in, mm -hmm. in the tent overlooking the lake. Um, that's also the favorite spot for rehearsal dinners. Um, and we um, have horseshoes, cornhole, croquet, that you know we have plenty of green space around where people can play games as well, so it's very laid back. Okay, all right. And what are some of the options that brides can um, partake in for their rehearsal dinners or other activities on the properties for the so guests? On, on property, um, it's fun because we do have bicycles. Uh, if your guests stand on property, they can grab a bike and they can go ride around. And it's funny to see the expressions on some people's faces <laughs> that like, I can still, I can still do it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so um, we also have a lake, Lake Stanley behind the main Airly house where you can go to the front desk, ask for a fishing rod, doesn't cost anything. You just pick up a fishing rod to go fishing. Um, we have tennis courts. We have uh, a four-acre organic garden. We do garden tours. Um, in our garden, we have beehives, and we actually jar our own honey, no. which is a popular favor for weddings, yes. So uh, it's a lot, a lot of back-to-the-basics things here mm -hmm. at Airly that people absolutely love. Things that you wouldn't think that you would miss out on, but once you go back to, you'd be like, oh, absolutely. I missed this for years. Absolutely. And as far as like the organic jam, mm -hmm. so a bride can mm -hmm. request to have that as favors? Yes, um, with one of our menus, our Stations Buffet menu, mm -hmm. um, we include, it's like a chef's choice local food project and he includes a lot of that. Um, so we can do favors, he makes some tomato jam, some chutneys, and also um, the Airly honey. We absolutely um, sell that at the front desk. And for example, I'm doing a wedding this weekend and they requested 110 little two ounce jars okay. and they're using those for their place cards. Wow, oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. And as far as the point of contact for the bride when booking her wedding, um, tell us about that process. Well, actually, I'll field that question. Okay. Um, so, you know, obviously we're a team here at Airly, so you're going to get help from anyone that you see around. But 
just starting out when you're coming out for your first look, the main point of contact that you're going to have is going to be either Lisa or myself, one of the sales managers in weddings and special events, and we're really going to work with you throughout the entire process. So if you do decide to book with Airly, we're not going to change hands. It's, you're going to stick with us. And then as far as the other team members, you know, the chef, you're going to meet him at the tasting that we have. We have, you know, scheduled tastings throughout the year. And that was Chef Jeffrey Whitty That's right. that we had in the first portion of this interview. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get a chance to really talk with him and get some personal attention directly from, from Jeff himself. And then, you know, as far as what's going to happen the day of the event, we have a dedicated banquet captain that's going to be assigned to your event and absolutely we want you to be able to meet them, get to know their face, everyone you know is on the same page. So what we do is we have a final walkthrough. Lisa and I will be in attendance, the banquet captain will be there, and we'll just go through all of those event details so everyone's comfortable, everyone knows each other, and we're really on the same page. Okay, wonderful. And discussing some, some more wonderful key uh, locations here that are at mm -hmm. the Early Center, um, kind of go over the formal gardens again as far as what goes on there. Well, there's a lot of key features mm -hmm. at Early. The formal gardens, that's where we have a lot of our ceremonies. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's actually three parts to that. We have the formal gardens, which is kind of a boxwood maze. Mm -hmm. And if you go in there, there's a lot of fun things you can find, you know, little statues, little hidey spots. And so that's fun to discover on its own. And then the ceremonies actually take place in our lower garden for the most part. And then in our upper garden, we can put an outdoor cocktail hour there. Okay. All right. And then they can move on into the pavilion Absolutely. if they like. Okay. So that makes a nice progression for those pavilion events because you start out in the lower gardens, you go up for your cocktail hour in the upper gardens, and then you just move on to the pavilion for your reception. And this, just uh, looking at the grounds here, there's so many beautiful places as far as photo op opportunities mm -hmm. here, but there are certain ones that your clients love, uh, such as the Spanish Steps and others. Can you talk Absolutely. about that? Absolutely. So, you know, Airly is really one giant backdrop. So anywhere you go, you can get a great photo. But some of those, you know, more popular spaces that you mentioned, those Spanish Steps, they're on the back of this main Airly house and they are breathtaking you're gonna get some great shots there you could even do your entire you know guest count if you really wanted to they're, they're large <laughs> enough to accommodate that and then um, we have something we call the wedding bridge which goes over Lake Stanley those are great really any time of day but especially for sunset shots because the sun's going down right behind there so photographers get some great shots there and then really any of these um, nooks and crannies on property we have these gorgeous stone walls all over the place stone archways they're really works of art and you got to make sure that you stop by there to get a couple sweetheart shots. And as far as accommodations, what are some of your special accommodations here on the property when it comes to the bride and groom? Well, we have two premium cottage options. We have our groom's cottage, which is not named for the bridegroom. It's actually <laughs> named for uh, Harry Connolly Groom, the original owner okay. of the property. Um, and then we have our lake cottage. So both cottages are similar in what they can offer you. You get four bedrooms, you have a kitchen, you have a sitting area, a deck, a wood-burning fireplace. Um, they're Again, they both offer the same thing, but you have two different personalities. Our groom's cottage is a little more country chic, mm -hmm. and our lake cottage is a little more cabin in the woods. Okay, all right, wonderful. Either way, I mean, they're great options for family of the bride or groom, you know, the bride and groom themselves, bridal party, groom's party, however it works for your group. And then as far as another little small getaway that's here on the property, the Whistling Swan Pub. Yes, the pub is great. I mean, if you're coming here, you're trying to make your wedding a weekend long event. I mean, that's something that we specialize in because we can do your rehearsal dinner, we can do your next day brunch. And the Whistling Swan Pub is just one of those places that's great to go to. Everyone can unwind, relax, either the night before the wedding, the night of the wedding. It's a great option for even extending, extending that reception party. So basically we serve, um, like going back to those libations that mm -hmm. we, we offer, <laughs> we do offer some local Virginia wines, some locally brewed beers in there, you know, liquors, we have popcorn every night, and that's actually, you know, <laughs> attached to our um, game room. Okay. So you can enjoy billiards, there's Wii and karaoke, there's foosball, darts, I and mean, it's just a really fun spot. So people don't ha run out of things to do when they come here to air. No, there. absolutely not. Something and as far about. as the size of the um, the guest count of events that you can host here, what's your capacity? Well, we can do as small as 10 and we can do as large as 200. 
Um, nothing here is really cookie cutter. It's all, you know, what do you need and what can we do for you? Because we have such versatility here. We have a bunch of different event spaces. It really depends on what you need and we'll, we'll find something that works. Okay. And um, just to talk about accommodations again, what other accommodations do you have besides just for the bride and groom here on property? Well, we have about 150 standard overnight rooms and those are spread out across our five different lodging houses. And going back to some of that rich history that Lisa was touching on, um, you know, just look at the names of these houses and you're gonna be able to tell what they used to be. Um, our carriage house, our stables, our farmer's house, those really operated as, you know, those- What their names say. Right, they're okay. true to their, you know, original purposes. Um, so it's it depends on what the guests need if they need a king bed if they need two double beds we'll try to accommodate them as much as possible and make their stay as comfortable as it can be okay and as far as when a client walks through the doors here at early center what is their experience well hopefully they're gonna have a really great experience and it's you know we strive to offer a vintage unique virginia experience complete with warm welcoming hospitality great food, great service, and all in, you know, this beautiful location, the wonderful grounds we're on, the, you know, excellent house that we're in here right now. Okay. So that's our hope. And to kind of wrap up our interview, tell me three words. Describe airily. Okay, I'm gonna give you three letters if I, if I can. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna explain. <laughs> um, first letter is W, mm -hmm. that stands for windows, just because no matter where you are here at Airly, if you're inside the main Airly house in one of our banquet rooms, if you're in the pavilion in our completely glass, you know, enclosed structure there, or if you're in one of the outbuildings, you're gonna have windows. So you benefit from that natural light that's coming in, you're gonna have a great view, and I think that really helps us stand out. The second letter is O for organic. So Jeff talked a little bit about that. Um, you know, we're very, very into those local fresh ingredients. We grow some right here at the LFP garden. Um, so that's O. And then the last letter <laughs> W. <laughs> so the last W it stands for wide open spaces, which obviously on 1200 acres we have in spades. Mm -hmm. So, you know, grab a bike, you know, take a ride around, just take a walk, look out for our trumpeter swans, which we have the largest population of in North America, by the way. Okay. So, you know, all those things together, all the little things really culminate to be that wow factor of Airly. Wow. Wow so, is right. <laughs> <laughs> so when guests come in here, or better yet, mm -hmm. after they leave and experience Airly, that's what they'll say is wow. That's what we hope. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Well, I will definitely say that uh, being here on the grounds and having myself had the experience of planning an event here, I can definitely say that it is one of my favorite locations in Northern Virginia for mm -hmm. um, events. And I do think that walking away from here that um, guests will feel that wow factor. It's not only romantic, it's for families, it brings people together, and it's that one-stop shop where people can just come and just stay and have a weekend of relaxation and fun. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you, Brittany. Thank you, uh, Lisa. Thank you. And everyone, thank you for joining us for part two of the Early Center. And we hope that for your next affair that you will consider the Early Center. And ladies, if someone wants to reach out to you here at the Early Center, how do they contact you? Just give us a call at 540-347-1300 or check out our website, www.airly.com. Wonderful. And there you've heard it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us at You're Cordially Invited. <laughs>